Alright you guys got another video on how to find out why Windows 11 won't boot up. If you're getting to this stage where you've got the Windows logo and it's just spinning or maybe you have a black screen or maybe it's just not going anywhere and it's just not getting to the desktop then this video is for you. This is a pretty common problem where people may have issues with something not loading and I'm going to show you how you can quickly troubleshoot and hopefully try and help you resolve your problems. So if you shut the PC down three times, what will happen is it will take you into this option here, which is into your recovery section here, where it will say choose an option, something like this. So from here, what you want to do is go to troubleshoot. So come down to troubleshoot and click on this one. Now you do have options to reset your PC here, but we'll leave that till later on. Go to advanced options here and we do have startup repair. But what we're going to do first is go to startup settings. Now, assuming you can get to this location from that location where we was earlier, you want to reset the PC from here. So restart and then choose two, which is enable boot login. This is going to give us a log file, which we can then examine to find out what is not loading on Windows startup. So we're just going to restart the system. And if you can get to the desktop, you will be able to then view uh, what is causing that problem. Maybe it's getting to the desktop and it's really, really slow, then you can view it from this location. If you can't get to the desktop because it's just not booting up to the desktop, then I'll show you a way to check that as well. So first off, let's have a little look here. Inside the Windows directory, you will see a file called NTBT log. So you should be able to click on this and open this up. And this will give you a full uh, process from the start of boot up right up to the point where it failed. It may be a driver that's not loading or it may be some sort of issue that is loading up here. It should tell you something failed and you should get an error code here, which is what's telling you. So it might be a graphics driver. It could be your antivirus program causing it. It could be anything. And it will give you an inkling here to have a little look and help you troubleshoot the problem. Now, if you can't get to the desktop to look at this file or you can't uh, activate it this way to see it, then I'll show you a couple of other things you can do to try and get access to this boot log, which will help you. So let's go back and uh, restart the system here and I'll show you another way. So we're going to go back here and hold the shift key down during the restart, or you can close the PC down three times without shutting down properly and it will take you here. Go back into troubleshoot, advanced options and go into command prompt this time. And this is going to allow us to enable this feature from command prompt. So what you want to do is you want to type out BCD edit and then push enter on the keyboard. And what you'll see here is the Windows bootloader. And you can see the identifier here for it is called default. And what we're going to do is enable the uh, boot up log for this uh, system via this method. So if you can't get to where I showed you, you can do it via here. So what you can do here is by typing out this command. So now we know it's identifier default and we're going to enable the feature from here. So make sure yours says something like there, say default. If it does, then type BCD edit space forward slash set. And then we want to give it a space and then we want to use those braces and we want to then put in default here. So they'll do braces and then do default and then we'll close that off with another brace there. And then we want to type space boot log and then space yes. And this is telling the system to basically turn on the boot log so we can then view it. So we're going to push enter on here and this will enable this feature. We can turn this off after the fact, but we want this to work so we get that result so we can then examine the boot log for this system. You can see the operation completed successfully here. So from here, what we're going to do now is close this off and you would then go and read that file if you're having trouble booting up. If it's taking forever, you can use the boot log to examine it. Now, if you can't get to the desktop, don't worry. I will show you another way of examining that file. You can see I'm just going to go into that location again and show you. But if you can't get to the desktop, don't worry about it because we'll use a WinPE disk to view it. And I'll show you that as well. So come down here inside the Windows directory and you can now see we do have that log file. We can now open this up and find out what is causing or hanging during the boot process. So you can see right here it gives you a time and a date and everything else and it's all loaded right there. 
Now, of course, there is nothing wrong with this system. I just wanted to show you this method. But let me show you another way of getting to this as well. So what we want to do here is if we go down to the start button here, right click on it and go to run, and then we can type in MS config here. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already got it in there, so I'm going to push enter. And if we go to boot now, you'll see that boot log it is turned on and this is where you can turn it on or off but obviously you won't be able to get to this location if the pc is not booting so i'm going to turn that feature off uh, after you finish using it and diagnosing and troubleshooting with it you can then click apply and okay so what i'm going to do now is restart the system and boot to a win pe now of course you would have to have a win pe and i'm going to just boot to that usb flash drive and you can see here I'm going to boot to the Windows 11 WinPE version here. And uh, again, you could download this version for free. And we'll let this boot up to the desktop of this WinPE here. And this will give us access to the computer where we will be then able to look at that log file to see what is hanging on the system if you can't get to the desktop. So let's go ahead and let this load in. And then we'll take a quick look. And I'll show you some things that you can do from this environment which will allow you to run some checks because sometimes your drive might be failing and you can check it from this location as well. So let's go into this PC and we can have a look inside here. Now you can see there's quite a few drives here, but this is the one we're interested in, which is the C drive, local drive. And we would then go into the Windows directory. And now we would look for that log file, which we've just turned on and it should be in there. And there it is right there. So you could follow that process and then boot to a WinPE and then view the file to find out what is hanging and what is causing that problem. And then obviously you can then rectify that issue. Now, it could be a case that it is a, a driver or it could be a case that you've got a bad drive. Now, you will see VMware virtual uh, disk here, and that's because I'm on a virtual machine booting to this here. But if this was a Windows system, you would see the actual NVMe or SSD drive uh, listed here, and it will tell you whether the drive is failing. And if it is, then that is your culprit. You will be able to then replace that drive. And that may be the reason why it's not booting, because the drive is failing. It could be a ton of other reasons why. It could be a bad RAM stick. It could be a bad windows install that you might have to repair install and you can do a lot of checks here as well like check disk from this location and you can see i am checking the c drive here and it will check that drive to find out whether the drive is in good working order and see if there's any errors on the drive as well any bad sectors it will come up here and you can see we don't have any issues with the drive so we know the drive's fine so this is another thing you can do from these WinPEs, which are very very useful so now we've done that, we can also uh, do some other checks here. We could run a check on the memory check if we want to do a memory check from here. And we can do some other stuff. We can back our data up and we could do a fresh install from there as well if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and get back to this location here. And I'm going to go back into Troubleshoot. And again, you would have access to reset this PC from here. Or you can go into Advanced Options and do a Startup Repair or you can use system restore if you have a system restore point. But what you can also do is do SFC scan now and check for the Windows operating system to make sure it's working OK. And by doing that, you can open up the command prompt and you can run some commands here. If you don't know a lot about this sort of stuff, you can check my channel out. I've done loads of different videos showing you how to use uh, this environment. And uh, th this should help you troubleshoot and help you fix the problems that you may have. And of course, this is going to run an integrity check on the drive, on the files in there to make sure everything is working correctly. And I've done an extensive video on this. So check out some of those videos on my channel. Now, if you like these sort of videos, then let me know in the comment section below by leaving a comment and let me know that you do like it that way. By views as well, seeing views and thumbs up, it will let me know that people are enjoying this type of content. If I don't get a lot of views, and no one's leaving comments, then I'll think people don't want to watch it and I'll make other types of content. So let me know what your thoughts are. Anyway, you can do loads more things to try and fix the problems, but having that log file is a good starting point to troubleshoot what the load up time is and what's happening there and where it's hanging. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.